Hello guys, it's me Elias Yolaza, a um, bit different what I usually bring you guys, I mean, has been the title domination, but now I'm moving towards a slightly different thing, it's, it's not going to be a series as such, it's just kind of a few videos that I'm going to be doing, I mean, FM handheld 2013 will be soon, so I understand some of you but I might not have enough money to get it straight away, so this is basically, if you want to start a new game now, and you're going to look forward, like, play it on until you can afford it then I'm going to bring you the guys I think are the best out of the free transfers list at the start of the game when you start with England I think I think I don't think the people I've picked will change if you go to different leagues but I'm not too sure I haven't really looked into it uh, I'm going to go straight into it and look at him absolute beast I, I don't know but I've got some quite good poses in these pictures I'm not going to lie um, but it is Cristiano Zanetti uh, he is really old, 34 is, he's, he's got like two seasons left in him, I think the most having him is three and a bit, then he got injured and ruled him out, but um, he is a really, really good player, I mean, it says defensive midfielder, but I play him in midfield, because he kind of, I use him as a captain and just hold everything together in like an anchorman type position. Um, Really good stats because of his age. I mean, he has had a lot of time mature. Cross isn't that good, but obviously he's, he doesn't have the pace to get up, the, get up there anyway. Um, a nice set of greens and blues mixed there. Um, he would easily slot into a Premiership team, if I'm honest with you. Uh, maybe not one of the top four, maybe not the top six, but I would say anywhere else you're looking to get him in. He's probably good for the Championship, I'd say. I mean, I was buying for Leeds when I started as Leeds, but um, I think League One, if you have the wage bill to buy him, you'd really, really make your team like stand out. Um, but here is the positions he can play. As you can see, centre midfield is a natural and defensive mid is a natural. That's preferred role. I normally do play him as preferred role just because it. I don't know if you play him centre midfield, deep line will kind of put him into a defensive mid so I mean, he is really good just a just little back up for the defence really I mean I never really spend a lot of money on the defence um, so if a, def if a midfielder can back my defenders up then it's a bonus really but that is Cristiano Zanetti, he is available for free on the free transfer list he normally gets, he normally wants a ridiculous amount of money like um, I think I got him for 8 grand a week is the cheapest I've got him for like wages. So yep, yeah, that is the first one, Cristiano Zanetti. Next we have maybe some of you won't know this one. It is Iwan Iwanis Amantidis Tidis. He is twenty nine years old, he's a striker, um he's not the best tackle as you can see, position is not the great, creative is not great, but he's not the kind of person he's to me he is I've been using him as like a portrait type thing where he literally just gets on anything like I will use another striker as an like a, a sort of playmaker type role so Amanditis can just play off the other one's creativity and he is a really quite really 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 good finisher I mean on here his shooting's only 13 but he does score a lot a lot of goals I mean I think his record is about 24 for Leeds when I played as him. Um but yeah, he's he's got a canny amount of pace for a twenty nine year old. Dribbling's good, decisions fifteen, heading isn't that good, but I do literally just use him for a portrait. Kind of advanced forward portrait. So he'll get on in front of anything. Uh, the positions he can play. As you can see advanced forward is his preferred role. He's competent, attacking mid, right wing and right forward. Uh, I don't really use that, I mean, if you just play 4 2 like I do, because I like to keep it sh all simple, keep it simple, keep it easy. I don't really use him like that. Um, if I ever play 4 3 3 and then he's in the squad, then he'll still be in the centre just because I like people to play it to him. Since he doesn't have a lot of creativity, put him on the wings wouldn't really benefit the squad. I mean, on the last one, it did say that he had 13 crossing, so it's not exactly the best crossing, as he's not an out winger, but. With the lack of creativity, it's it's not worth putting him in, putting him on the wing, as he can't really create anything. Same for attacking midfield. If he can't create, there's no point in him being there. Um, 
but that's it for Anis Alantitis. Uh, he is a good player. I would recommend him. He's quite cheap. I mean, I think he's like three grand a week, which for championship level, it's 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 really good. But I don't think he's quite capable of pushing up in the Premiership, like get your top half finish. To be honest with you, he's just not that good. But he's still a really tidy player just to have if you're trying to get up from League One to the Championship and then Championship to the Premiership. So guys, we have two now. There is some more to come. I mean, I don't want to put more in one because I want to actually talk about them and not make the video really long. So, cheers for watching, guys. Oh, you know, one before the end of the week, as well as the next title domination. Hope you all enjoyed it. Comment. I want to know if you've used these guys and how you how you found them. Um, how you found them? Sorry, I didn't know what I was saying then. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching. See you all later. Stay safe. LFC guys are out.